Well, welcome, good evening, you wonderful dice of all alignments. I am Lunar D8. And this, well, you can see the... Uh, real quick, I want to double check to make sure this is recording. Uh, yes, everything. Uh, bye. Yep. Yeah. Everything seems to be fine. Uh, yes. Anyway, so we're going to play some Spyro the Dragon Reignited Trilogy. Um, we're not going to play all of it in one sitting because, holy shit, why? Why would we play all of the game? But yeah, I have not played Spyro the Dragon since, well, back when I played it on the PlayStation 1. Back, you know, when Spyro first came out. So... I haven't played it since, well, back when it was on a PlayStation 1 disc. And that was a much older version, and this one is a much nicer looking version, but honestly, I still like the... I, I was still perfectly pleased with how it looked in the previous iterations, and this new reincarnation of this game. I think we should have lots of fun. Let's turn up the volume. Okay, rolling. Uh, uh, oh, yeah. uh, it's been peaceful. Ignore the YouTube I video. Old, or is it sick? <laughs> For a dragon's age. Unless you don't want to. Have Hell, look it up. Treasure. You might actually like it. Is it 14,000? What about this Ganasty Ganok character? Now, I understand he's found a magic spell to turn gems into warriors for his cause. You guys remember those TVs? I'll take that question. Nasty Nork is a simple creature. Simple? He has been contained in a remote world and is no threat to the Dragon Kingdom. No threat! One of the main things in the first game is freeing dragons to get turned to stone. I feel there should be a mod that makes it to where every time you free one of the dragons, it talks in Chris Farley's voice saying a Chris Farley quote. So like every time Spyro saves one of these dragons, I feel it should, like, there should be a mod. Granted, there should be other things happening in the mod, too. This shouldn't be the only thing. But I feel like every time I save a dragon, it should talk in Chris Farley quotes. Like, when I go and talk... Oh, wow, this... I have no idea how well my computer's handling it, but this looks amazing. Oh, wow, this is so pretty. Oh, this is... Oh, I guess I don't need to jack off late. I mean, this... We're all good now. Oh, God. Oh, God. This is... Oh. Oh. But yeah, I really do think it'd be kind of cool if, like, there was a mod, and every time you saved one of these dragons, they talked in the Chris Farley quote. But, if there ever were such a mod, I feel that there should be other things happening with the game as well. We have rescued Nestor! Thank you for releasing me, Spyro. But look dragons in the artisan world, at how clean this the looks. He'll transport you wow! To this... What you know what? I know they did Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy as well. But you know what other trilogy they need to do? Gex. Yo, know, you guys ever play Enter the Gecko? But yeah, the Gex Trilogy. Yeah, they... Oh, that... Oh! It feels so fucking good! Oh, God! Where's Nasty Nork? I'll torch you! Keep your horns on, Spyro! You have much to learn first! Do you Everything know looks... So good. The sound's not too much different than I remember, but I'm sure it's been, you know, spruced up a little bit. But the visuals. Look at this grass! Look at the grass! Oh my god. It's so pretty. Like, and don't get me wrong, I really enjoyed. I really, really. Oh, that. that 
That is satisfying. Oh, ah, zap me, good. Oh, this just feels so satisfying. Um, sir, please get back here. I need to kill you and steal from you. Thank you. Oh, you're still alive. I'll have to kill you some more. Get back here! Sir! I'm trying to murder you! Please cooperate! Please! Stop living! I look forward to doing business with you again. But just the way this feels, the way it looks, the way it controls. I know I'm gonna suck terribly at this later. That's fine! Even if it sucks terribly, as long as it feels good while it's sucking. Sir, get back here so I can blow you. Ah, uh -huh, everything looks so cool! Look at this view! If you prove your worth by rescuing ten dragons, then you may use this balloon to fly to a new world. Sounds amazing, good sir. Oh my god, just look at everything. Oh, it's so good. Oh, this... Everything feels so... Oh, I tried to press... I remember the triangle thing was like a hover thing. But I don't think they introduced that till a later game. So I think I just need a... Yeah. Skill point! I'm pretty sure those didn't even exist in the first game. It's just sort of like a feel-good thing they added in this game. What? I... Sir! Ow! My spinal column! Um. Thank you. Hey, Spyro! Press the jump button twice to glide. And, and don't be afraid. Afraid? I feel afraid. like this is the most iconic line of this entire game. Oh, that. Oh, this... This is so cool. Why did I wait so long to play this game? Oh, this is satisfying. Sir, you know that living thing you're doing? I'm gonna have to ask you to stop that. Now, if you do it again, I'll have to come back here and uh, correct your mistake once again, sir. Jump into vortex. We is that a gem down there? It's multiple gems down there. Back up here we go! JUMP! Oh, but this just... I know I'm gonna do terrible at it. Especially the flying levels, oh my god. I know I'm gonna be so fucking awful. But I'm gonna be enjoying the visuals of flying so much and like... Well! Here we are struggling with inverted controls and orgasming. So, so what are we doing? Oh, we're flying around, shooting planes and trains and coming. That's 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 what we're doing here, guys. Oh, we rescued Argus. Cool flash. Do that again. The artisan's boss is through a portal in the dragon mouth. But you are not yet ready, Spyro. I still still think the bosses in Spyro the One artisan were the best bosses in the entire Spy Spyro trilogy. Fucking sheep! Om nom 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 nom.
I remember you. Oh, by the way, guys, I, I think it was either a click video or a lost pause video, but there was like a, a saying that I, I wound up seeing and that they mentioned that was like, that is absolutely hilarious. You guys are familiar with the whole saying, Netflix and chill? Well, they had the saying, Funimation and penetration. And I'm like, that's, that's hilarious. Though I had to post the comment on that video saying, can I do anything with this? Um, how do I guidebook? There's one more gem in this world. I know in later games they installed a thing that Made it where sparks would like point. Yeah, this is the flight area. I'm gonna be awful at it. But it'll be a lot of fun. Trust me. Now there's one individual gem somewhere. But that's fine. I do need to adjust how I'm sitting though. My legs are a little uncomfortable. But yeah, they they had the saying Funimation and penetration. I'm like, that is hilarious. Though I absolutely had to comment saying Is there a gem back here? And that's the thing, I don't mind like having to like hell. If it's one little gem, I don't mind spending twenty minutes searching for one individual gem. Because everything is just so pretty at the point where it's it's like the idea of being in Witcher 3 and never using fast travel. Because you enjoy how beautiful the environment is. So much so, the last gem's probably in there. Inside that dude's mouth. Oh well. So we'll, we'll probably get at that point. Let's go in here. But I'll say that. What was I talking about? But, yeah, it's like Witcher 3. The idea of not using your quick, your fast travel feature, because you, or even riding the horse, because you just enjoy just the environment, the beautiful landscape that was created. Just, just living in that world. Well, not living it. It'd be awful because of monsters. But I'm just saying how beautiful it looks. Dangerous, but beautiful. But it's just... It's just so very pretty. That, honestly, I'd be perfectly cool. Like, if, if, I, if I'm playing a level, and I am literally missing one gem, I do not mind spending 20 minutes wandering the level. I do know as a child, I tried to break something. I tried to jump on that little fountain and jump onto that ledge. To try to get up somewhere. But I think it was on a demo version of Spyroad where a lot of this level was locked off or something. So I was trying to I was trying to do stuff that was never intended. But like it's it's so pretty. It's so beautiful that I even for one little red gem. After you freed all the dragons, even if it's for one individual little red gem, I don't mind just wandering these levels as lost as because I have a horrible sense of direction. I get lost so easily, both in real life and in video games. But I'll say this, I don't mind being lost in this beautiful world. It's just, it's, it's just so beautiful. I do not mind being lost in this world. 
It's just it just means more time to just enjoy it and bask in just how fucking pretty this is. It's just oh, it's so. And even if I play horribly at it, especially the flying levels, it's just even if I'm bad at controlling Spyro, even if I'm bad at the flying, it just feels so satisfying to do this. He controls so well. And it's like I remember, but it's just... It's just... Oh my god, this is so beautiful. It's so amazing. Oh, found another dragon. Hi, dragon! I rescued Gavin! Pretty sure he's a guy off a rooster teeth. Watch the dragonfly, Spyro. His color indicates his power. When he eats butterflies, he stays strong. But, I'll say this. Like me. Uh, I forget what channel it was, but it's either um, Lost Paws or Natsutaku. But yeah, they were, they were like, you know, about Netflix and chill? And they're like, Funimation and Penetration. I'm like, that is hilarious. But I absolutely had to comment on the video and add something to it. And I left a comment. And I'm like, yeah, it, it means even more so... You know, Funimation and Penetration means a lot more and maybe a little bit different to some people if we're talking about Futanari. Um, so yeah. When it comes to Funimation and Penetration, Futanari kind of changes the whole meaning of that. Fucking sheep! It's like, what'd you do? I don't know. That'd be a little embarrassing to like, what do you do with the weekend? I fucked sheep. Like, oh, that's gross. By the way, not literally, but this is just so fucking. It's just, we're just going around fucking murdering all the sheep. Like, fuck every living thing in this game, apparently. If it's not a dragon, we fucking kill it. I know there's a sequel at some point, it was technically Spyro 4, but it didn't get remade because it wasn't very well received. But Spyro 4 actually had a voice actor for Sparks the Dragonfly, and it was David Spade. David Spade was the voice of Sparks the Dragonfly. Spyro, my friend, how about a hint on gliding? You bet! For the longest glide, press the jump button at the top of your jump, and try pressing the action button to drop down mid-flight. But it's just... This game looks so amazing. I don't think I'll do 100%, at least not efficiently. In time, yes. Oh, another thing is this. No matter how beautiful this game is, I'm not going to be playing it that often. So, today's part might be three to four hours long, okay? So, yeah, this part, I might be doing three to four hours of Spyro the Dragon, which won't be enough for me to actually finish all of the first game, but I imagine I'd get through the first three worlds. That being said, guys, while today's part of Spyro the Dragon will probably be about three to four hours, there is something you must know. I will not be playing, as much as I love this game, as much as this game is just absolutely beyond amazing, I will not be playing this very often at all. Now don't worry, with the exception of any kind of, where am I, with the exception of any kind of recording snafu, I will not be playing this game off recording. So any gameplay I do with this game 
I will be recording it. So if I play this game at all, you guys will see it. But I'm not going to play this game a whole lot. Like today's part will be pretty long, and heck, most times, I, actually I think for Spyro the Dragon, anytime I sit down to play this, it's going to be a time where I think I have plenty of time to just fully immerse myself in this game and not have to worry about anything else. I can just I can just enjoy how beautiful this world is and has how breathtaking every every frame is. Like I could chase this little blue bastard forever. Like I could just keep chasing this little blue guy forever. And the blue balls I have would not be a problem at all. See? Oh no. Well, I don't mind. I can just keep running around with just blue balls for catching this thief. And just never catching. This might be a seven hour part. A seven hour part of me just running in a circle trying to catch this guy. I wouldn't mind that. I would literally play this game for seven hours and I would just be you know in a circle you know we wouldn't even be making progress guys you wouldn't see any other levels you wouldn't see anything it would literally just be seven hours of me chasing that guy in a circle and I would still be talking but it would be seven hours seven hours of me just chasing that blue guy. Yo. Know, I mean, it'd be the video game equivalent of edging. When you I totally you wouldn't mind. Because I'll tell you this. Progress, that could be useful if you run into trouble. It's just Not every moment of this game is just... And I know part of it's nostalgia. But a lot of it's just, it controls so well. It feels good, everything sounds good, it looks good. Everything about this is so fucking satisfying. And we're like, okay, I'm pretty sure I just need five more gems. But where could those five gems be? Oh no, I don't know. We now have to look through the entire level to find said missing five gems. It's probably just one individual blue gem hidden somewhere. And we have no idea where, guys. And that's perfectly cool. Because that means we get to actually go through and explore the game more, and we get to see more of just how just beautiful everything is. I mean, look at this. Even the grass. Like, everything is just so breathtakingly beautiful. I mean, even just, like, walking around like this, and this is technically his walk. This is his run. I feel like I need to sneeze, though. So I don't catch you guys off guard. <coughs> Sorry. Ah oh, man. Whoo! Yeah, probably up here somewhere. So let's have a look. But I don't mind this at all. Ow! Why would you do that? where that gem is but you know oh well, there's two yeah I need to adjust how I'm sitting again it's just 
yeah, I'm just missing three gems. But that's fine. I am perfectly cool with this. Now, guys, like I said, don't expect this to be an efficient playthrough at all. Because... I am not playing this like a fucking speedrun. I am playing this as a literally stop and smell the roses sort of playthrough. This is just me playing this game as slowly as possible, savoring every moment of just how wonderful this game is. This is just so good. Oop, there we go. Yay! It's like an Easter egg hunt! Awesome! Woo! I think there was a VTuber. I think she goes by the YouTube channel Snuffy. She's like a raccoon girl. She's got a pretty cool sense of humor. But she played a mod. I only watched a clip of it, like for 30 seconds. But she played a mod where Spyro is like some sort of really cute doggy. And it's so... <laughs> it's... I don't know. Some people might find it cringe, but then it's kind of... Then again, some people might find Futanari a bit cringe. But you know what? You know, enjoy what you enjoy. But it's just, everything about this is just so pretty. I think I need to finish at least one world to open up this thing. Just try where that last gem is. Yep. No? Really? Hmm. Well, I always believed in taking the bosses on last. So... And I'll say this. Like with all hentai, there are lots and lots of variation when it comes to things. I want to find that last gem. So, obviously, with any hentai subject, when you look it up, you're bound to find some stuff that's just outright gross. Or mixed with stuff that's just... I'm not even sure how to describe it. But I'm just saying... Once you have an eye for it, you can find stuff that... Find what's right for you. After all... Anyone out there listening to this commentary... One... Thank you for staying around this long. I'm surprised you listened to this, uh... Crazy, weird individual ramble on as long as I have. That's basically all I do, is just ramble and ramble and ramble. I'm trying to think where would that other gem would be that. Oh well. And like I said, I don't mind, because it just means the longer I have to go around searching for a gem, the more I can just appreciate the beautiful world building. <coughs> but yeah, like I said, I mean, to everyone out there, I just want all of you to be happy. And you know what? If you find some enjoyment and listen to, you know, me just be weird and ramble about stuff that just doesn't make any fucking sense, or me cussing, or me just literally just rambling about anything that pops in my head then I'm glad you enjoy it and if you don't then well I hope you find something that you do enjoy um Tear Grace is pretty cool no matter what you should check him out and here's the thing like that gem is somewhere around here but you know what I don't mind taking my time to find it and yeah, that's that's what this playthrough is gonna be. It's literally just gonna be me meandering through this game. There we go. Got it. But that's all this game's gonna be. It's gonna be me 
Just, I'm literally just gonna be stopping and... Hello? Okay. I, like, this is just me relaxing. Yo, cause this is so beautiful. This is so amazing. Every moment of this is so fucking special. And so fun. And it's just... And even though the old version of it didn't look anywhere near like this, it was... It was so very enjoyable to play. And it's just... It's so good. It is so good. Everything feels so satisfying. Hell, I missed that jump. And I immediately felt that, you know, it was my fault I missed that jump. Everything feels so satisfying. Oh, it's so good. I wasn't sure if you'd escape those annoying little creatures. Of course they wouldn't bother me, but here's a hint. But the this is not a speed run. Fireproof, this is literally me going... Care of them. Just... This is a leisurely stroll apart. This is just... Casually just... Just savoring every moment. Of just how beautiful this world is. But yeah, that one VTuber, I think her channel name is Snuffy, it's like S-N-U-F-F-Y, she's like a raccoon anime girl thing, but she's got quite the sense of humor, she's pretty funny, but the biggest thing is just straight up, you know, she played a, I watched 30 seconds of it, but was a mod with Spyro was a little like I think it was like a Pomerady, I'm not sure, like some sort of little doggy and it was cute. And it was just like aww. But every bit of this feels so satisfying. But, like I said, this part, I'm aiming for probably like three to four hours. I, and it's not that the goal is to play for four hours. The goal is to limit myself to four hours. That when four hours comes around, the goal is to have enough willpower to make myself stop playing it. Big enemies like this north with the club cannot be goal but a quick play is to only play for four hours. Whereas I could easily just sit and play this game in its entirety. And then play Spyro 2 in its entirety. Then play Spyro 3 in its entirety. But I I don't think that would be a good idea. And I don't think that's very healthy either. Plus, I'm not sure how my well my computer would respond to me just sitting and playing Spyro the Dragon for like 20 plus hours. I feel like the recording would eventually corrupt. Oh no! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Thank you. Everything feels so good. Hi there, Oswin. You remind me a little bit of uh, Doctor Who. Well, like I said, I could probably sit and play this whole fucking trilogy. But I'm pretty sure YouTube might have a problem if I try to. Then again, I'm pretty sure OBS would have a problem if I tried to have like a 30 hour long video. I don't think 
I don't think OBS would be okay with it. Also, here's saying so many like like the books, and the backgrounds, like these are things that on the PlayStation One they couldn't fucking do. Hell, Crash Band like a lot of times Sony was confused that the original Crash, not the remaster one, but the original one on the PlayStation One, they were surprised that the PlayStation was even capable of that. Now, technically, if you, um, like, break out of the camera of the game, like, there's only, like, a few feet in every direction of Crash that's actually rendered at a given time. So, by controlling the camera, they control the amount of polygons. And it's just... They actually thought it would break the PlayStation. Because they thought it was just... It was too taxing. But it's just... I don't mind... Taking... Forever... To play this game. Because that is a forever... Well spent. But... Main thing I gotta say you guys... This... I just want all of you... To be happy, and to have fun, and to find what brings you joy. And as long as you're not hurting anyone, then that's all that matters. If what brings you joy doesn't hurt you and doesn't hurt anybody else, then why not? Do what makes you happy. And if you have anything that you want to do, whether it's drawing, or playing the guitar, or playing any instrument, or learning to sing, or learning another language. Where am I with this? Um, I need two more gems. That's gonna be like a running theme, I guess. Just like, okay, we finished the level. I'm missing two gems. And I'm cool with that. Because there it is. See? This is just, it's so satisfying to play. I think that completes level. But yeah, the goal isn't for me to keep playing to give you a four hour video. The goal is for me to stop at the four hour mark and not keep going. Because it would be tempting to actually play all of Spyro 1 in one sitting. And then play Spyro 2, and then play Spyro 3. I might get the Crash Insane trilogy at some point. I haven't played that since it was on a PlayStation 1 disc as well. Hi. How'd you feel if you're, that was your orcs out of Warhammer? I'm trying to remember what the rest of the levels were. I mean, there's Toasty, right? Oh, by the way, you complete all these crystals around Spyro's head. But yeah, um... Right, there was a... But, anyway, Spyro 4. It wasn't very well received. A lot of people really didn't care for Spyro 4. It actually had David Spade as the voice of... Sparks, and they had a whole new voice actor for um, Spyro, but the main antagonist of Sp Spyro 4 was a black dragon. I think her name was Crimson. But it eventually, you know, you basically beat the villain, and you join your team in all your Dragon Ball Z Goku fashion. But more importantly, it was a girl dragon, so it basically becomes Spyro's, you know, wife. So I don't know if they're ever going to make that. Because that's technically a game that's already been made. Welcome to Town Square, Spyro. Begin exploring by gliding to that area with the bulls. Use the right stick to get a good look. Oh, you knocked over your... Oh, <laughs> that was a nice touch. That was nice. Save automatically. Oh. Gem here. And a couple more here. But it's just this game also rewards exploration because you basically have to explore. 
in order to actually get all the gems. Okay, I'm gonna adjust how I'm sitting again. I, I'm sorry, I'm just having trouble finding a comfortable place to sit. But yeah. I know at one point I considered the idea of doing reaction videos. Kind of like Click and uh, Nux and MXR and all those people, or Tbilisi, where I'd be like, hey, guys, suggest the most cursed, fucked up shit you can, and I'll go look at it. But, I mean, it's not like I'd be recording a, you know, my face, because, I mean, the fucked up shit I'm reacting to should be the memes and, like, Reddit shit, you know, not how fucking horrible I look. I mean, then again, I could classify the channel as a horror thing. So, I mean, broaden your horizons, I guess, right? Thanks, what is with the fucking cake? I have the worst itch on the tip of my wing. Did you know that you get your longest glides by pressing the jump button at the very top of your jump? What do you cook with that? Like a fucking giant pot of chili? But yeah, I just... I want all of you to be happy. You know? If there's something wrong in your lives, well then I hope it gets better. Because none of you should have to be sad. Wait, whatever's going on with you guys, I want all of you to believe in yourselves. Whatever it is that you are wanting to do, you can fucking do that shit. And don't let anyone tell you you can't. You want to, like, be really good at guitar, go for it. Now, don't expect it to happen overnight. And if you're just doing it to be good at it, then you're not going at it for the right reason. Did you see a man dressed in blue running around here? He's a thief, and he's still in a dragon age. We should have like a Silent Hill dragon. Fucking pyramid head. But a dragon. But voiced by Adam Sandler. Adam Sandler as dragon pyramid head. Chun Li's pretty sexy. Who else thinks Chun Li's pretty sexy? She got nice ass. And those tits. And most of all, her face, you know. You can never forget a beautiful face. And a smile. And eyes. All very important. I did not quite make it. Oh no, you know what that means, guys? It means I need to go back here and see how beautiful and crisp this is. Over and over until I get it right. Every time I fail just means... It'd be like if you had a power-up that's like, hey, in order to get to this, it'd be like making this jump is the equivalent of getting flashed by a very sexy goth chick with amazing, like, say, 40 triple D titties that are super perky, and then you happen to, like, fail your, like, skateboarding trick, which means she's got to flash you again in order to get your trick. I'm like, every time you mess up, Yes, it's kind of sad and depressing because you fucked up at your skateboarding trick, but also get to see those titties again. So, and like the first time through, I'm like, okay, I could try to focus on getting this guy, or I could just focus on my gems. Not entirely sure where he went. But if I was just like running blindly at him, I wouldn't have seen this. That being said, flat chest is still good, medium's good, and of course, really big titties are awesome. You're gonna jump back up there, aren't you? Can I get you around by the pass? Can I, like, cheat the system here? I don't think I was meant to do that, but it's satisfying to do it nonetheless.
but it's just I'm not sure where I was going with this. I know I talked about like Adam Sandler Dragon Pyramid Head. Like Pyramid Head but a dragon, but also Adam Sandler. So I don't know. I'll say this. When it comes to women or whoever you're into, um, personality is the most important thing. And I'd say perhaps with that is that you're a good person, that you're nice. And above all, I mean, I mean affection is very important. I mean, yeah, you want someone to be pretty, but also very feminine, very affectionate, very loving. And, yeah, I got a little more height there. But you also want to feel safe with that person. I don't know. Being scared is a big sexual turnoff. It just it's, makes you feel gross. You want to feel safe. And you want the other person to feel safe, too. I don't know. I'd say one of the biggest turns-ons when it comes to actually- Yay, all the gems! That's not one of them still, that's nice. Is the other person feeling safe with you, and thinking that you are handsome, and actually... You no. You can always check your progress by basically being horny for you. So, but that's what we all want, right? By the way, I like myself some Arizona sweet tea. I mean, the green tea's not bad too, but just the normal Arizona sweet tea is pretty good. Okay, I think I finished this level in its entirety, yep. Yeah. I don't know. You know what I think that's really underrated? Just basic affection, kindness, human warmth, hugs, cuddles, kisses. Holding hands, spending time with somebody. Um, is there? Huh. Not sure how many levels there are. Not sure if I missed one or not. Let's go and do the flight one. Now, be warned. I am probably going to be awful with the flight one, because I remember that I was especially bad as a child, and, well, I was better at video games when I was younger, and I was terrible even then. So, let's see what we got going on. Yep, inverted controls, because we're flying. Hmm. It appears I made a very grave miscalculation in the idea of going with the tracks. I should have gone against them. But that's fine. It let's me take it. After all, what's the point of this game being so just pretty if I'm not going to take the time to just see everything? Okay, let's give it another shot. Okay, so let's try going against it. So... Well, let's crash, because... Can we try?
And I might be a little more quiet for this, just because this may require some level of focus. Um, what should I go to here? Obviously not the... What am I supposed to... Okay, in here maybe? This was probably meant to be my last stop. So... Where do I... Well... We'll try this way. But I probably hopped into this somewhere in the middle point. Yeah. I may have burned too much time. But that's fine. Still having a lot of fun doing this. Yeah, I don't see any more. Unless I'm supposed to. Hmm, didn't quite get it. Let's give it our shot. Um, is there anything else I can go to first? Um, there's that. That appears to be a middle spot. planes right there. So what if I went through... Huh. Interesting. We try. Huh. Well, what if I did it this way? I meant to turn left back there. With no. Yeah, but I definitely fucked that up. Okay, but this still came up at a spot. So, okay, let's go and restart that. Okay, good to know. So. So, when I get to that one spot, I should just turn left immediately. Well, I missed. Okay, we try. left here. Let's hit the planes. Actually kill the... Okay, we're a terrible dogfighter. It's a good thing you're not an actual pilot. Um... Missed. Oh no! Okay. Um... Where? One over here, and where is he? Hi. Hello. There you are. You ate up a little bit of my time, sir. Whoa! We. Oh God! <laughs> hmm. I have a lot of. Ooh, this is. I can't quite make that in time, can I? Ooh, we're still gonna try! Ooh, these guys are not... Come on, we can do it, Spyro! Come on! Come on! 
Don't stop! Can't stop! Won't stop! Yes! Where's the hole? We have to get through the hole! <laughs> We're not gonna make it. Okay. So. Let's give it our shot. Hold up, I need to adjust how I'm sitting. I know, I know. I, I keep adjusting how I'm sitting a lot. <sighs> okay, let's see what we can do. Let's try going this way. See if this helps at all. Probably won't. It's probably some special order to do this. But whoa. Um Is that the... Hmm, I'm not quite gonna make that. Let's retry. But I'm just saying, this is just so pretty and fun to do. That I don't mind having to do It's not some... Like, this game isn't some like, Oh no, I have to do this, and it's a chore, and it's so hard, and oh... No, it's just like... Okay, let's go through it again. Oh, we didn't do it. It's like, it's not a punishment. It's like literally, like, okay, we didn't, we didn't succeed. It means we get to have fun again. I do apologize since it's boring to watch. Okay, I think I had better luck going this way. Hmm. Definitely cutting this very close. It might not be possible with the way that I am doing it, but it doesn't matter. Because the way I'm doing it is fun to me. And that's all that matters. And that's the thing, like, say if you're playing guitar, it doesn't matter if you're awful at it, or if no one else likes your playing. That doesn't matter at all. All that matters is that you are having fun. That's all that matters. Are you having fun? Then, then keep having fun. Don't worry about progress or trying to impress people. Just... Do what makes you happy. I would like to actually be able to finish this. That was so close. Hmm. I probably just need to be like a couple seconds faster with the planes. Yeah, just do what makes you happy. Same way if you're a drawer. I don't care how terrible your drawings are. I don't care what you're drawing. Or how bad you are at it. Keep drawing what makes you happy. I missed the plane! No! I 
I know I could technically go against the planes to maybe get them a little faster, but that's entirely where dependent on I. Well, I definitely fucked this one up. Uh, where the fuck are you? Hi! Sir! Well... I know I screwed this. Wee! <laughs> Okay, retry. Well, I said this is not efficient at all. This is not a guide either. This is just watch a guy who enjoyed this as a child fail slowly through it, but enjoy every fucking second of it. But yeah, like, if, I don't care if you're terrible at guitar or what style you play, and I don't care how bad you are at drawing. And I don't care what it is you're drawing. It could be literally head tie. It could be cool anime mangas. Like, you could be the next, you know, you could be creating, like, JoJo. Like, like, you could literally be the next, like, JoJo reference. You know? I am missing these planes so fucking bad. It's better than some of my times, but this, I don't think this is going to be enough. Yes, I know timer. I thought that was the whole... that eh, close. Usually women care a little bit more than this in the whole. Hmm. I don't think I'm going to make this. But it's worth trying. Even if I succeed by a millisecond, it's still a success. Ooh, this is going to be very close. Uh, I was a little closer to that one time. I think three tries before this one. I don't know. Hopefully it's not too boring to you guys to watch me just do this over and over. I would succeed a lot faster if I could, but I don't think I have the skill for it. But that's fine. I'm actually having a lot of fun still. I think I just need to get through the planes just a tiny bit faster. Like, like I judge my depth perception so poorly there. Where? Where is it? Hi, where are you? I, I can't find it. Where is it? especially something to enjoy. But I'll say this, if you're a drawer or an artist or if you're an artist of any kind, you shouldn't be like drawing things to try to prove anything to anyone. I missed that plane. I probably just shot that one plane a little bit better.
Like, apparently I can't judge distance. Worth a crap. Could you imagine this in VR, though? Um... Uh, um... I think I did a little better with this one. Maybe by half a second. That might be enough to actually... do it. It's still gonna be really pushing it, though. Yeah, I'm way behind normally with me. Yeah, so I definitely don't stand a chance. I see. So that's there. You can just turn immediately and go there. Okay, so that's how we save at least half a second there. Definitely lost this time, but I at least understand the chest a little bit better. It's just doing that plane thing a little bit better. But I judged the depth perception so badly. Could you imagine this in VR or three dimensions? Though, I don't know, it might be too much for the brain to handle. I need to judge this depth a little bit better. This has got to be the run. Fucking mmm! You are! I could have done it this time! I could have fucking done it this time. Oh, that that that's gonna cost me. And now I don't know where the hole is because I got so used to turning. Ah, oh, that's disappointing. Oh man. Ah. Oh, fuck. Damn it. Okay, let's try it again. Fuck! We had a good run. That one we could have won. We got that one in the bag and we missed that chest. But that's the key to it, just doing better at that airplane part. That's the part that's going to trip you up the most. How do I judge depth perception that badly? Okay, we're still doing fairly good on this one. God! I, 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 I was like, I'm gonna... Fine. Redo. And so I was like, okay, I gotta take a wide turn here. I'm at this arch here. I'm gonna save myself on a trip later. And it's just... I couldn't turn it tight enough. And I knew it was gonna be too wide to hit the plane acceptably. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna hit this arch on the way. But it was still too wide even for that. Judge depth.
Yeah, I can't make that turn. So hopefully there's enough time to get it on the way back. Face so itchy. We got it. Hell yeah, guys. We did it. Whew. We did it! Holy shit! Fuck! Hell to the yes! But yeah, I don't care what it is you guys are drawing. And I don't care how bad you are at it. And I don't care if nobody out there believes in you. I don't want any of you to give up. And don't feel pressure you have to do anything to succeed or get... Don't even feel the pressure that you have to get better. I just want you to keep doing what makes you happy. I feel like there should be another level. Like, not this thing. I gotta be missing the level somewhere. Is that already... Probably over here, then. I already did this one. Is there another level anywhere, or did I? Or is it just the boss now? I feel like there's gotta be another level somewhere. I'm not sure. Oh well. We'll take care of the boss, and if I find out later there's another level, then yay, it means more stuff to have fun with. But you know what? And I don't expect any of you to actually get better. Like, the goal isn't to get better at drawing or be like, oh, look how smooth I did this or how good I did this. The goal is this. I want you guys to sit down, like, if you're, if you're someone who draws, I just want you to sit down and draw and have fun. And if you play guitar, I just want you to sit down, play your guitar, and just have fun. That's all I want. Like, do whatever makes you happy. As long as you're not hurting yourself, and you're not hurting anyone else? But yeah. As long as you're not hurting yourself? And you're not hurting anyone else? And do whatever makes you happy. I don't think you could rapid fire that much in Spyro 1. I think there was more of a delay, so you had to like single shot these um, dogs and jump out of the way and then do it again. Yeah. Because I was saying in the past, we had to do is you had to. Run up, shoot the dog, run away, and then shoot it again. Oh. I thought I hit. I guess I was just slightly out of the guys. That's fine.
So yeah. But that's definitely got to be the goal, is to... When we get to the four hour mark, which we're probably like a half hour in right now, when we get to the four hour mark, I need to make sure to stop myself. But this this part will probably be four hours long. But like I said, it's not because I'm gonna force myself to play for four hours. It's that when four hours comes along, I gotta I gotta force myself to stop playing. Nasty Nork has put one of because his it is tempting in charge of the to world. just keep playing. I I smell a barbecue. Be careful, Spyro. Toasty has many tricks up his sleeve. Yeah, it's a sheep. Yeah, I just want you guys. Don't worry about anything else. Just if you have a passion that you know drives you, do it. As long as it brings you joy, do it. As long as you are not hurting yourself and you're not hurting anyone else, do what makes you happy. And believe in yourself. I believe in every one of you guys. So I just want you guys to be happy. And you know what? If anyone's judging you for anything, or treating you like shit, don't let it get to you. Like I said, as long as you're not hurting yourself, and as long as you're not hurting anybody else, you're fine. Now, if you are doing something to hurt yourself or hurt somebody else, stop it. Like, go watch that clip of Michael Jordan, where he's talking about people, you know, Go watch that clip of Michael Jordan where he's like, stop it. Get some help. Yeah. Yeah. So if you're doing something that's hurting you or hurting somebody else, stop it. Get some help. But if you're not hurting yourself, you're not hurting anybody else, then just be happy. You may travel to the peacekeeper's world if you like. Yes, I would like. To go? I think I did all the levels here. Oh. I think I did all the. I think I did everything here. But yeah, I gotta stop myself and just keep playing. But like I said, each video of Spyro is gonna be when I know I have plenty of time just to sit down and just play this uh, absolutely amazing game. But I'll say this, guys. This part will probably be three to four hours long. Longer if I have the lack of self-control to stop myself. Because, like I said, I could probably just keep playing this game and playing it and playing it and playing it. Welcome to Peacekeepers. Look how our treasure has been stolen and turned against us. Please, recover our treasure, Spyro. Elect treasure, got it. Bunnies. I missed that one. No? Are you mooning me? 
I mean, I, mean, I, I guess if you want me to light your farts, I, I, I can do that. Didn't I already? Ah, oh, I got hit again. That's why I was like, didn't I already get some health? Skill point for what? What did I do? Okay, I, I know I need to stop doing this, but I need to adjust how I'm sitting again. It's just my legs like cramping up a little bit. But it's just... Each part of Spyro... is probably going to be... about three to four hours long. How about this? I'm going to try to aim... I am going to try to aim for three and a half hours for every part of Spyro. So for every Spyro video that I record, I am going to try to aim for a three and a half hour part. Hi there! Magnus. Hey Spyro! Sparks the Dragonfly has been doing a good job protecting you. That he has. Make sure to keep him strong by feeding him lots of butterflies. By the way. Quick uh, word of advice to everyone in the real world. If you use a flamethrower on a sheep, it does not create a butterfly. Just just in case. Yeah, it does not create a butterfly. It creates scarred, uh, charred, um, uh, sheep corpse. So, just saying. That is not how butterflies are made. I just saw it out of the corner of my eyes. I just saw it. Fucking target. No. No. Son of a poo. Did everyone come back to life? Don't think so. Okay, good. Let's try this again. That did not help at all. Why am I so bad at this? meant to jump from there. Yeah. Are we meant to go around? But yeah, every part of Spyro, I'm going to aim for it being three and a half hours long. But... Huh. 
Huh. In every part of Spyro, I am going to A for being three and a half hours long. not meant to be a hard jump. What am I missing? What am I doing wrong here? Like, I can tell this is not meant to be something to get killed. Why can't I make this? I don't remember seeing anything in either key. Well done, Spyro. Keep up the good work, and I know you'll fulfill your destiny. Destiny? I just want to kick some. Just toast those enemies and collect the treasure. By the way, they talk about Spyro's destiny in Spyro 4. But, like I said, that game was not very. Popularly received. Son of a bitch! It's not meant to be a hard jump. It's not that I'm failing, it's that I'm failing at something that's supposed to be easy. Like, it's supposed to be simple. Yet, yeah, I am so bad at this. Like, this is not meant to be a hard jump. Kidding me? Uh, it's not meant to be hard. And I know I'm failing this of my own fault, but it's not supposed to be something hard. It's supposed to sound like everyone gets in their first try. But that's going to be the goal. The goal is to have every part of Spire the Dragon just be three and a half hours long. Now that being said, I'm not going to record Spyro very often. 
Okay, this level is complete, so let's start actually playing our levels. Dry Canyon. But, yeah. All in all, like each part of Spyro is just going to be like, my goal was to have it, you know, be three hours, three and a half hours. No longer than four hours. That is my goal. That when I get to the four hour mark, that I stop myself and say, no more, that's it. No more Spyro for today. Four hours has got to be the cutoff point. If it's any more than four hours, then it's a failure of willpower on my part and I couldn't stop myself. And I just kept playing anyway. Or lost track of time. Or whatever, but the goal is to make myself stop playing at four hours at the longest. Fucking up this hit him for fuck's sakes. Oh, yeah, now that thing. What the? I didn't even see that. Spyro. rewards good gliders. You are a good glider, eh, Spyro? I was born to glide. How did I get up there again? Yeah. yeah, maybe a little lost, that's fine. I know I gotta get up there, but I'm gonna do this stuff first. But, I'll say this. I'm aiming for the parts to be around three hours and three and a half hours, but if I let it go a little longer, I'm going to try to have the stopping point be four hours. But,
Fuck! But it'll be just tempting just to keep playing this game. And I gotta, you know, cut it off at some point. But I'll say this, guys. I am not going to be recording this very often. Okay? So this will probably be... Because, I mean, I do have other games I want to play. And I, you know, have work and family and, you know, a life. So... All things are about trying to find the proper balance. Having control. Um, But I'm not going to be playing this game very often. Honestly, I will probably only play a single part for about three and a half hours. Four hours at the longest if I get lose track of time. But I'm only going to play one part of Spyro every two months. Like, so, more if I really feel like I really want to. Ever since you were a wee puff of smoke, we've known uh, You've known... Uh, they mentioned this in Spyro 4. I forget what Spyro 4 was called. They also made other Spyro games. And at one point even got picked up by Skylanders, which was... It just was... It was horrible. What? I feel like whatever just happened was never meant to happen. But yeah, I don't plan to record Spire of the Dragon very often at all. I will probably only play this game like once every month at most. Hell, I might only play this game once every couple months. So I will very rarely be playing this game. Just because I want it to feel as fresh as possible every time I play it. I don't have a key. Huh, so where would that key be?
Probably with that one guy I skipped over. Oh, I remember that. Hell, it's actually very gracious that they have the uh, gems there as a clue. Incredible glide, Spyro. I thought Thank I'd you. be stuck here forever with those ugly vultures standing on my head. Those birds might look tough, but they're pretty tasty. Flame broiled with a pinch of salt. There you go. think so. Where was it? That would be up there, I think. I can't remember how I got there. No, nope, that one. That's the thing, it's not that, um, it's that it's meant to be an easy jump. Like, I am not meant to struggle with this at all.
Like, it's not meant to be hard. It's meant to be a very easy jump. Why do I fuck that up? I'm glad the enemies don't respawn every time. Yeah, I'm only gonna record this like every couple months. At most, the only thing I might do off screen is if I ever decide I need to grind for lives. That's probably the only thing I would ever do off screen, is, you know, grind for extra lines. But, yeah, don't expect part two for probably a couple months. Because I am in greatly enjoying this game, but I... I don't want to just, you know, binge watch it, play it all at once. I want to be able to take my time and savor it and enjoy every bite of the morsel that is this feast of Spire the Dragon. I want to enjoy every taste on my tongue. So, I'll take my time with it and savor every... Every lick. So, I'm only going to record one part of Spyro every couple months. That way I can maximize how much I enjoy it. Because otherwise I'll just play it straight through and Probably somewhere at the two-thirds way mark of the second game. I'll probably just be unconscious. <laughs> Especially since I've already been awake for over 24 hours at this point. I didn't go to sleep after work. I've just sort of been up. But that's my fault for being silly. Hell. If I had to work today, I'd already be back at work again. Crazy. Look at how he walks! It's so fun, like the attention to detail. It's so cool. And it's not that I'm having to focus, I'm just, I'm just taking in every, every wonderful sight. I'm just, it's just, I'm just allowing myself to be a little bit too immersed into this game. How's a dragon supposed to flame metal armor anyway? Remember, Spyro, flame won't work on metal, but charging with your horns, that should do the trick. Could you imagine if there were ever ROM hacks of Spyro the Dragon? What that would be like? Hmm. 
I press circle, the flames didn't come out. Must have accidentally mistimed something? I do feel that though, that the flame distance that they allow you to char the bad guy from, I do feel that it is much more lenient. than what it was in the original. And as always, I'm always open to suggestions for any games you guys want me to play, but one, I want to be able to play stuff that YouTube be okay with. And primarily stuff that's on Steam. But beyond that, my main criteria for any game you guys suggest to me, like if there's any games you guys suggest that you want to see me play, my main criteria is, and always will be, do I think it'll be fun for me? That's it. Will I have fun? I mean, I could literally have 10,000 of you say, play such and such game, but if it looks boring as hell to me, I'm not going to play it. That's the main determining factor to me as to whether or not I play a game. And that is, do I think it's fun? Does it look like it could be fun to me? If it looks like it's going to be boring, then I'm not going to touch it. This game is very fun, but I'm only going to play it one episode every couple months. Hey, what's on the other side of that river? Why don't you glide there and find out? Lifetime supply of hentai, Spyro. What would be classified as a lifetime supply of hentai? Like, what would count? Well, that was generous. I know I asked in the um, Hyper Run or Hyper Hype Run video, but who do you guys think is the sexiest anime character? Or who is the sexiest video game character?
and that's my. And it doesn't matter what the character is. It could literally be Optimus Prime. If Optimus Prime makes you hard, if Optimus Prime makes you wet, then let me know. So I don't care what it is. As long as it's legal. As long as it is legal. And it doesn't involve hurting yourself or hurting others. Or any kind of violence. But yeah. What anime character? Um. What? Yeah? Yeah, what anime characters do you guys think birds of a feather? I assume it's kill a bunch of birds. But yeah. That's my question. What anime characters would you guys consider good wifings? And I don't care gender, sexuality, none of that shit. None of it matters. All that matters is does it turn you on? Or is it someone you find cute and adorable? Or, you know, basically, is there a character that you want to fuck or be fucked by? Or cuddle or be cuddled by? Or kiss or hug or whatever? It doesn't, like, it could literally be Optimus Prime. If, if the idea of being cuddled by Optimus Prime makes you feel good, then, okay. Get cuddled by Optimus Prime. Good for you. But yeah, that's the only criteria. What do you guys think is sexy? Ah, oh, I missed. I said as long as it's legal. Nothing illegal and nothing violent. It seems getting that little bit of a charge makes a big difference. Okay, I remember there being stuff up there, but how would I get up there? I remember there being something up there. How did I do that again? There we go. But yeah, I won't play part two of this for at least a couple months, guys. Mainly because I think if that's the way of playing this, that I would find most enjoyable. And like I said, I'm open to any suggestions you guys got, and I don't mind backseat gaming, though if it's a blind game, you know, that I haven't played before, and part of the interest is my reaction and being surprised by things, I mean, honestly, I don't mind if you guys spoil a story for me, or spoil anything, but if the main draw is supposed to be my blind reaction, then, well, telling me what to expect only serves to make it even more boring than it already is for you. And as is, let's be honest, I'm a boring-ass motherfucker. 
Why are you guys listening to me? I don't think I even qualify as being sane. Let alone interesting. How is anyone still awake listening to me? But... Oh... Uh, I'm always open to suggestions. I'm just saying, if you spoil a story... Whew, but if you spoil a story for me, then I don't really care. But it... You know, you won't get to hear my reaction to it then. You know, I won't be surprised. And I imagine... If you are watching a video based on it being a blind game... Well, then you're watching because you want to see and hear my, uh, blind reaction. And if you say that, then it kind of spoiled that. What? But, I think I'm getting off top. Main thing I'm trying to say is I do not mind backseat gaming. Word of caution, little one. Wait until you grow big, <coughs> like me, before charging those large enemies. But, like I said, I'm open to any suggestions on the Steam webpage, but primarily any games I'm going to play are going to be games that I can get on Steam. If, like, if it's something I have to go to, like, some other website for, then I can pretty much guarantee you that I am not going to fucking play it. So, that's probably criteria one. That if there's something you want me to play, it it needs to be on the actual Steam web page. Spyro, some big norks up ahead are wearing armor, and in the ice cave, armor can make their feet very slippery. Hmm. Why don't any of you stay around to help me fight things? I don't think I can fight. But yeah, like I said, criteria one would be you want me to play something? It should be on the Steam webpage. Yeah, I should be able to get it off of Steam. The other thing is this. I have to think it'll be fun for me. And it doesn't matter if it's hard. The game can be ridiculously fucking hard. And I can be absolutely fucking horrible at it. That's not what matters. Even if a game is incredibly hard and I'm terrible at it, as long as I think I'll have fun, I will play it. Even if it's five hours of me failing simple jumps, as long as I think it'll be fun, I will play it. 
but it could be easy and something I'd even be good at. If it looks like it'd be boring as hell to me, I'm not going to mess with it at all. Besides, if I ever want to play a game, I have other games to consider. Mainly, you know, Binding of Isaac. I want to try to make some progress on that. There's also Resident Evil 8 when it comes out, and of course when Guilty Gear Strive comes out, it's my very first Guilty Gear game. So that's on June 11th. But yeah, Guilty Gear Strive will be my very first Guilty Gear game ever. I've looked up a couple of reviews of older Guilty Gear games to get an idea for it. But yeah, I mean, imagine the main games I'm going to play in the future are going to be... Like, I imagine the main games I'm really going to play the most of in the future will be The Binding of Isaac, Repentance, and... will be Binding of Isaac, Repentance, and Guilty Gear Strive. You've done well, Spyro. Some dragons thought you weren't ready, but I knew they were wrong. I'm ready, all right. I'm ready for what? But yeah, like I said, I, I won't play another part of Spyro for probably a couple months. Because the main thing that I'm really wanting to absolutely focus on when it comes to this channel is I want to focus on The Binding of Isaac and Guilty Gear Strive. Those are the things I want to focus on. Main things I want to try to do are the binding of Isaac Repentance and Guilty Gear Strive. I mean, if I see something else, and like I said, I'm always open to suggestions. So if there's some game you guys want to see, 
just let me know. And I'll check it out. And as long as I think I would have fun, I'll play it. But if I think it looks boring, I'm not going to play it. I wonder if I can even make that jump. Yeah, if there's any games on Steam you guys would like to see me play, just let me know. But above all, my main criteria on the whether or not I would play the game for a Let's Play is do I think it looks like something that I would actually have fun with? And I don't mind if a game's hard, and I don't mind if a game's something I'm absolutely terrible at. It could be a hard game for somebody skilled. And I could also be terrible at it on top of that. When it comes right down to it, if I think it looks fun or cool or it interests me in any way, I'll play it. Now, Spyro definitely interests me quite a bit, but I don't want to like binge play it. That's the thing I'm trying to avoid doing. I'm trying to avoid binge playing. It's kind of like when you come across a new anime and it's got several, couple hundred episodes, but you don't want to try to like, and they're all out immediately, and you, you could, you know, binge watch all of them in one go, but you try to like force yourself not to, because you know that if you limit yourself to like say an episode a day, that you will enjoy it so much more. And that's basically what I'm doing with this. Like, this is a very a fun, amazing, wonderful game, even before it got redone. So I'm just... I want to savor every bite of this game. And I want to enjoy it to its maximum capacity. So we're probably about an hour and a half into the video right now. Here's another flight one, so we'll be stuck at this for a little while. That's fine. It'll be a lot of fun. Oh.
Wow, it's hard to do that. I know I'm getting sleepy, but still. That shouldn't be enough to throw off my ability to do this. That was pretty close. Okay, arches. Fuck! Am I just that bad telling death perception? Or am I that tired? Um, lighthouses. I was like, what do I do? Um, I go the wrong way? Must have. Maybe I should be drinking a fucking Red Bull or a monster instead of Arizona tea. Well, wow, fuck! Why do I, like, I am apparently so terrible at depth perception.
the fuck? I swear I'm not that close to that water. What, what happened there? Like, why would I just fall? That didn't make much sense right there. Where is it? This way. Two more. What? I saw one of them, and I didn't get close to it. The fuck? Stop landing! I see. Should I have gone the other way around? I see. I need to turn there. That's a weird way to do that, actually. But I see what you want. Okay. I also need to try to save maybe one second off. Just no false landings, okay? And that should be enough there. Give me that extra second. Stop doing that!
Stop that. Got it. I don't think there's a level over there. Let's double check. Yeah, not over there. I think Dr. Shemp's all I got left. I gotta adjust how I'm sitting. I just, it's so hard to get comfortable. <sighs> Look at that sun. But Spyro is a lot of fun, but I'm not gonna like, I just don't wanna like, binge play it. Because it's too tempting. Just sit and play it. Oh. Well, okay. I don't even have to kill these guys. It actually might be more fun. Just... Wow. Fuck you! You guys couldn't even see me. You know what? Fine, all of you. Chase me. I really, I feel like I'm getting serious Sam flashbacks from that shit. Which is not an insult, that is just me commenting on how absolutely hilarious it is. Nope, okay. Um. Listening to him over and over, but I tell you one thing: he should watch his back.
That is not what I intended to do. Oh wow. Definitely a lot more color. Spyro isn't like Code Bane where you gotta like look down on like to find places to jump to. Is that what's in the box? Is that a fucking seven reference? Is that a reference to a movie of Morgan Freeman and Brad Pitt? Also, look at that coloring for that. Okay, so I'm missing something. 25 gems, where would those be? Where would I overlook something? Huh. Hey, there's something up here I didn't see. I mean, look at that. Oh. So good. I think that finishes all the levels here. Hey there, buddy. I can't believe how fast you found so much stolen treasure. Hop aboard for the Magic Crafters world if you're ready. Okay. Okay, so I think I did everything in the Peacekeepers. We're probably nearing being two hours in. Oh, this music. Look at those mountains. Look at that building. Look at those trees on the side of the cliff. Oh. Look at that water. I've always tempted to jump in and kill myself just so we could get a better look at it. Oh my god. It's so good. 
look at the steam! Oh no. I don't care, I'll get you later, buddy. Hi! Welcome to Magic Crafters! I want you to release the dragons, reclaim our treasure, and recover the eggs from those pesky blue thieves! Okay. Oh, but I'm like, oh, so satisfying, I don't care. Going through all four of them in one shot. Yeah, that, that is not a thing I succeeded at. So. Yeah, the game, this, the Reignited Trilogy is much more lenient on the Fire Flames, which honestly, I am cool with. You're a dick. Oh! Oh, look down there. That, look at that water. Look at that water. Listen to that waterfall. So fucking peaceful. Ow! Okay, I am getting close to death. Why am I. It's my aim that. Yeah, I need something to kill for butterflies. Are there any sheep or anything anywhere? There we go. When you see arrows like these, you can charge along with them to begin a supercharge. Supercharge? Excellent! Go ahead, try it. I mean, look at that mist. Look at this portal!
Now look at this grass when you burn it. Guys, you seriously saying you charge normal speed? Oh, what's the point of this thing? Okay, I remember in the old game that no matter how hard you tried, you couldn't charge through those guys. You had to use supercharge. to a special place where you can learn to fly. I remember when I was a young dragon, earning my wings. Learn to fly. Got it. There are a lot of holes in your wings, sir. Do they still function as wings? Because I feel if my parachute had that many holes in it, I would die. Not that I would ever be crazy enough to be in a situation to require a parachute. Oh no, it's only... something. Now I need to supercharge to get that. What's the key for? I don't know if there'll be in a chest anywhere. So, you need to come down here, charge this way, turn, and go straight into that.
now I need to find a locked chest somewhere. Okay, so if I were a locked chest, where would I be? But seriously, just look at this. It looks so amazing. Where is it? this be?
pop up there, but how do I get there? I don't think I'm gonna jump higher, but. Ah! Oh, it is possible. Weird, though. Fucking hell. Ear itches now. Okay, that's gotta be the way to do it. That's so damn awkward, too. How the fuck? Why? That's probably meant to use that in order to get the thief too. The fucking hell? I'm pretty sure it's higher up if I go around, right? Yeah, there's no way that that's it. Let's hire. jump a little earlier. Oh fuck, it's like I'm skating the edge. If I had a skateboard, I would have done a perfect grind along the entire fucking edge. Why am I not you know, clearing that? Okay, that didn't even make sense there. Fuck, what am I hitting? I don't even see anything to hit. It's not like I'm touching that wall on the right hand side. I'm like three feet away from it when I jump. Doesn't even look like I come close to touching it. Like here, that's that's not a wall. The wall's over here. The hell, why is that not working? <sighs> I 
Now it shouldn't be possible at all, but I'll try going the long way around. Though I'm pretty sure that other wall is even higher up. If I can even make it through the fucking turn! Take that any wider. Is there anything there? I don't think there's anything even up there. Yeah, it appears to be. I don't even see anything up there. Okay, so where even is this chest then? Since apparently that's not where I'm meant to go. Where is. Like, I have a key to a chest! Where is it? There's something there. So I was never meant to do that at all. Okay. I think this is the first level. Yes, yeah, so I think this is supposed to be level one. Okay, we're probably nearing three hours. Like I said, the goal is that at four hours, that's the cutoff point. And then I'll record another part of Spyro in like two months. Just because if I don't, then I'll somehow justify beating all three games in the trilogy in the next week. And it's just, that's, that's not healthy, and I should not do that. You guys having like a wizard war? something about these green druids. They insist on moving everything in sight. Yeah, I'd say probably the best boob size is probably 40 triple D. But then again, a woman with a flat chest is just as beautiful as one with a big chest. Then again, spiders, oh my god. I remember them. Then again, I, it'd be nice if I had a bigger dick. But I don't.
He's like, how do you rate your own dick? Oh, it's the big D. The big disappointment. Oh my god, you're making me dizzy! What the fuck is this shit, man? Oh my fuck. No! Oh my god. Why should I feel vertigo from a video game? Then again, it would also help if it wasn't a fat ass. Or if I didn't look like the fucking amnesia monster from Dark from Amnesia the Dark Descent. It's that fucking gray fat monstrosity that fucking chases the player around. That is what I look like. Just fatter. I don't know. Yep. Two. Bugs. When I become big and strong like you, I'll squash them all. Until then, remember that supercharge makes you invincible. Yeah, so what do you guys think about these spiders? I'm not invincible, so let's just run the fuck through. So like, what's happening? No! Hey guys, catch me. Yay. How could you miss?
Try combining your supercharge with jumping and gliding, and really explore the high caves. Got myself a little nimbus right here. Well, we still gotta finish off the spiders. If I can even get in there. Fucking hell. Okay, they're doing all the good action spiders here. Oh god, there is a spider there! Let me out! Fuck! Thank you! The fucking hell! That is... Okay, I'm gonna die if I keep that up. Okay, take me back to the where I can get help.
Not Tyler's. Okay. I'm doing a combination of yawning and hiccuping at the same time, and it actually hurts. It's actually physically painful. What the fuck? Ah, oh, that hurts. Actually. I'm sorry, this is... That physically... Ah. Oh. At least they're fairly quiet hiccups, but... It's like fucking chest pain every time I fucking do that. Ah, oh, God. Oh. Fuck. Oh, man. You too, buddy? Fuck! Oh! Ah! Whew! Well, I'm hiccuping and it actually physically hurts for some reason. Since when do hiccups hurt? But it's like, ah! Need a ah. Burped a little with that one. But I didn't know you could have physical p pain from hiccuping. I don't know why. Also, why am I hiccuping? What has caused this? Why do these hiccups hurt? Fuck you. 
At least I think I'm stifling the noise from the hiccups. So I don't think you guys can hear it. But I don't know why I'm hiccuping. I don't know why it physically hurts. Oh, fucking hell. Oh god, that's not... <laughs> At least most of the time they're very quiet. I just... shake... controllably... <laughs> for a second. Why am I hiccuping? Can I even make this? Um, what the fuck is this? <laughs> you dick! Fuck you! <laughs> We're all finished. Now I just gotta... <laughs> go to... The return hall thing. Probably about three and a half hours at this point. Check, check, clock. Yeah, three hours twenty-two minutes. What is that? I need to try to aim for cut off four hours. Do another fly in mission. Do. Do host. Do host, Mish. Do host, Mr. Frocked. Do host, Mr. Frocked. His little leash lamb. And. <laughs> okay, so. Gonna do the argument rings. Okay. Sonic 2XL Archie's
Okay, get big. It's not much to stop. Let's do a time trial while hiccuping. Sounds awesome. Stop landing! Where am I going? Oh my god! I can't believe I did that while hiccuping! On a first try, I think! Woo! Okay, whoa! <coughs> the fuck? Why am I hiccuping? <laughs> Yay, got a one up. I gotta read just how I'm sitting. Actually, I'll be right back. I have to pee. So you guys be patient. I'll be right back. I have to pee. Wow, still hitting. Looks like I move this weight. I'm back. Just give me a second to get back to my sitting position. Oh. 
Okay. Let's hop back into it, guys. Sorry, I just couldn't hold it. I had to pee really bad. You bitch! Why are there no fucking sheep anywhere? I am out of your fucking range! You son of a bitch! How are you hitting me? How the fuck are you hitting me? You stupid motherfucker. How? Apparently this asshole's range is greater than mine, which means I probably have to bait him. I guess I've been a little too spoiled with the previous levels where my fucking flames can reach for- Also, why are there no, you know, sheep anywhere? Great! The fucking wizards with their goddamn lightning are a fucking distraction. So these guys, I have to bait them. Come on! Mr. I have more range than you. I would call it cheating, but it's what I've done to every other enemy so far in the game. So I can't berate you guys for being cheap sons of bitches when I'm actually worse. Are you fucking kidding me? Fucking campers. I don't think it's possible for me to blame him here. He deserves it. Yeah, that that's not gonna be possible. Stop being assholes. What the hell is a Jarvis? Welcome to Wizard Peak. This is my favorite supercharged spot. Use it to bash those wizards. Why are there no fucking sheep anywhere? Thank you. Where is it? Shit! Fuck you! Hey, hey. 
now they come back? Fucking hell, you stupid bitch. What the fuck? Fuck you, sheep. Well, that didn't work out either. Who is laughing and where the fuck are you? I don't know where you are! Can I even make that? God damn it! I fucking hate you, stupid fucking troll motherfuckers! Well done, Spyro. Thank you for releasing me. Oh, he said thank you. How he actually show some gratitude and fucking help me? You have some friends who are also locked up in various places. They might appreciate the assistance of these fucking trolls and their fucking attack rate. What the goddamn fuck was that? You stupid piece of shit! Since when can you do that? So is there a sheep anywhere I can... Because I kind of fucking need them now. Why is there such a fucking shortage? What? Stop fucking shooting at me! I am moving at Mach... Fucking 20, you fucking retard. Motherfuck, son of a bitch. Fuck, 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 fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, you stupid fucks. Fuck you. What the fuck is your problem? Hi, let's have enemies that you can't possibly fucking kill without the fucking supercharge. Fuck! I don't remember the fucking wizards having the fucking accuracy of a fucking professional Halo player. So fuck yourselves. Fucking ridiculous. Fucking hit you, blue bastards! What? Come on! And another thing, I don't remember you fucking purple trolls having that long of a fucking reach. You fuckers are not supposed to have a greater reach than me. And I don't remember having this much of a fucking shortage of fucking sheep. Goddamn kidding me! Fucking swing your fucking hacks! I know I mispronounced this hacks, but you know what? Might as well fucking be a hack. 
I don't remember these trolls being that much of a pain in the fucking ass. Try jumping on the stones there. Yes. That was useful my very first playthrough like two fucking decades ago. Stop falling in the water! Where the fucking sheep? Damn bullshit! Fuck, it's not meant to be a hard jump! It is not meant to be a hard fucking jump! Stop! I already killed you! Everybody hates you! You fucking laughing son of a bitch! Super Boo had a less annoying laugh to Vegeta! I'm even lower now. How am I lower? What the fuck? This is not meant to be a hard fucking jump. This is meant to be easy. This is not the fucking Beast Maker's treetops world. And oh my fucking goodness. If I am fucking struggling with this, then oh my fucking goodness. How is the fucking treetops level gonna pan out for me? It's not. It's gonna be a part of fucking... Fuck a bullshit, motherfucker! Goddamn fuck, fuck, just the fuck up. Why? Why? Why am I not getting the height necessary? I am not out of lives. I have died lives. I am still no. Do not jump in the fucking water. What? What? What is? I was about to say, like, what, what's going on? It's like, hi, little fairy. It's fucking bullshit. It's fucking so much there. That should never have been that fucking hard. It is not meant to be a hard jump. It's not like that bullshit from treetops. Which, you know, honestly, if I'm struggling this much on this, then oh my god, the treetops level in fucking Beast Makers is going to fucking kill me! How is that not everything? Where else is there anything? I've killed everything. What else is there? STOP FUCKING LAUGHING! I will shove my dick in your mouth and enjoy the reverberations of your laugh. Your laughter will simply make me come harder. Enjoy that. That being said, where the fuck am I supposed to go? Please. Shut the fuck up. Before you make me come a fucking volcano. Okay, what am I supposed to actually do here? I don't. I need to kill these guys because it's going to be a hassle. Because their ice attack is much more 
dangerous than I remember it being. God damn it! Like it's fucking tracking, it feels like. It feels like it's fucking tracking. I was trying to kill the sheep. Sheep, get the fuck back here and fucking die. Thank you. Okay, I have... 74 gems left. Where the fuck are they? Okay, obviously you're a person I haven't managed to fight yet. But how do I get to you? Are you the same guy as before? I feel like I'm fucking tripping. Am I tripping? Huh. This is where all the fucking sheep were. They're fucking hiding. Like the fucking bastards they are. Code Vein's like conditioned me to check the fucking underground. Why are you guys up here? I needed you in different areas of the level. Not up here where there are no enemies. No. We are having none of that, you bastard. How am I? Fourteen. Okay, fourteen gems. Somehow it's this bastard. How do I get to you? I need to rip out your fucking soul and eat it, sir. The idea I'm considering, I'm pretty sure, isn't possible. Yeah, you can't supercharge jump to there. want for me game how do I get to that guy
Why do I am trying to go back to that other fucking wizard? Why do I keep ending up at this fucking point? Why? Why? Where am I fucking going? I need a fucking three-dimensional map. What the fucking- Why would you fucking veer off to the fucking left like that? I am trying to make a controlled jump. To because I am trying to fucking understand where something fucking is and now the fucking fuck 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 I gotta figure out where the fuck I came from because I was trying to fucking map shit out to figure out where to fucking go and you're like oh I decided to be off to the left and now you don't know where the fuck you are! Die, you fucking fuck! You are distracting, I am trying to figure out how to get to a certain son of a bitch! Stop existing! Gotta be here. Hi! Headshot! Fuck you! I don't care. Save your blowjobs for later. Fucking sound of silence. He looks like the face for the character of the fucking A music videos for the band Disturbed. Oh, hey there. How you doing? Rotten hell, you son of a bitch. Okay, we'll finish this level. And then as soon as we take the fucking hot air balloon to Beastmaster World, we are going to... Actually, no, we'll just... Yeah, as soon as we go to the Beastmaster World, we'll just go and call it quits. You know. Ha! Get juked, you son of a bitch. Motherfucker. Oh, what's that? It's a goddamn fucking windmill. What is it? Kratos swinging his arms? We're killing BB's brother. Double. That is the thing, though. I will say this about gamer boyfriends. You know, 
like all sorts of jokes on the internet be like game boyfriend be like a woman comes up the girlfriend comes up and say hey babe you want to make out and the joke is that you know normally a gamer boyfriend be like boom headshot oh what was that babe I didn't hear you or shit but let's be honest in reality what really happens is a guy can be playing a video game and his girlfriend comes up to him and says babe you want to make out the dude will immediately throw down his fucking controller and be like, fuck yes! Hi. I want these gems. Because let's say this, men do not choose video games over sex. Men choose video games as one, something fun to do when sex is not an option. But I'm pretty sure any guy playing any video game ever, this is fucking all Altair! Neither do I. Who are you again? Um, I'm out of here. But, I'll tell you this. Then again, I assume all other guys are like me in this regard, but maybe I'm just wrong. But I'll say this. If there was a woman here right now who was sexy, and she was like, it's like, hey, you want to make out? I'd immediately just shut off the computer when you bother saving shit, and I would just immediately hop into that. Hi. I'm just saying this. I assume all men are like me in that regard. That, you know, if there was a woman who wanted to make out with me right now, I would immediately stop my reaction. If like a woman came up to me and said, Hey, babe, you want to make out? I'd immediately throw it on the controller like, Fuck yes! Wasn't there a good person over here? There's just one of the dude's tornado powers. Yay, level Because I would much rather be doing that. As much as I enjoy this game, as much as I enjoy video games in general, and as much as I enjoy Spyro the Dragon, if there was a beautiful woman, especially one I felt safe with and who would actually, you know, cares about my feelings and wouldn't try to fucking kill me or something, then I would immediately hop onto and into that in every fucking you know, innuendo way you could possibly interpret that. And yes, every fucking dirty way you can think of, yes! All of it! But I'll say this. Actually being able to trust your partner and not be scared of them is very important. But, I guess it's also important for me not to be, well, ugly as shit. So, or for there to actually be very many of any single women in my area. Just about everyone's already actually married or in a relationship. And I'm not going to, you know, fuck somebody that's already in a relationship with somebody else.
I'm just saying this. Men. Like I said, at least my perspective as me, as a person who enjoys playing video games, and is a guy, if there was a cute girl over here right now, and she was like, you want to make out? I'd be like, fuck yes, throw on the controller and immediately, just immediately hop straight into that. But I assume that's the normal. So either that's normal, or it's just, I don't know. Anyway, I hope everyone enjoyed Spyro the Dragon. I probably need to go to sleep since I have been awake for uh, 32 hours. So, I've been awake for 32 hours and I should go to sleep. But, I'll say this, I greatly enjoyed playing Spyro the Dragon. I hope you guys enjoyed it if you didn't fall asleep. And if not, well, um, I guess this counts as an ASMR video now. Uh, that is the wrong button. No, still wrong. Okay, we're at four hours and... Shh. What the fuck is happening? Did... So much confused happened right there. Okay, so... At least looks like I recorded everything. And we're at four hours and two minutes, which that was my goal, to make my cutoff point at four hours. So I'll probably record another part in like two months from now, if I feel like it. So, yeah, I hope everyone out there had a wonderful day. So take care and give yourselves a big hug. And never give up on yourselves. I want you guys to believe in yourselves, and I believe in you too. So have a wonderful day, and I hope you had a wonderful day, and I hope you keep having a wonderful day. So, yeah, bye.